Welcome to the Investor News. In this video, Gregory Manorino talks about owning physical gold and silver. Listen to what he has to say. Nothing matters except stability or instability in the debt market. Yesterday, we watched that 10-year yield just bump right up on 3.3%. Right now, we're, we've come down. We're at 326 as I am doing this video blog. Now, this is no miracle or no accident that we're seeing that 10 year yield drop. Trust me on this one. The Federal Reserve and central banks around the world are watching the, the, the bond market. Um, they have chosen, think about what I'm gonna tell you right now for a moment. Central banks, none more so than the Fed, has chosen to take the largest aspect of this market, which is the debt market, and artificially rig prices to the downside now for well over a decade since the last meltdown here. They're responsible for inflating a monster, and they are well aware of that. They've gone out of their way to inflate this monster, buying all that debt, trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars of it, inflating a monster that is engulfing the world. And, and again, this, this is not by accident, this bubble has been hyperinflated by design to eventually let it implode. Okay, we know how central banks work. This is what they they do: serial bubble blowers. And you know, all this is leading up to a climax. You are well aware of that. I've covered this for I don't know for years. Eventually, we will get a meltdown here in the debt market. Now, look, it's very possible that we're going to get there now. Okay, we need to watch that 10 year yield, the MMRI. Are you watching the MMRI yesterday? Two point, no, I'm sorry, 222.4. Um, I would expect the MMRI to come down a little bit early on today. Look, economic news, let's just talk about that real quick. So we found that the uh, US unemployment rate ticked higher. Uh, and of course, it's unexpected. Uh, <laughs> Of course, it's unexpected. Why would you expect that in an economy that's in free fall? But anyway, that's just the way it's going to go here. Uh, and and this, this issue with the dollar, let's talk about that just real quick. Okay, you understand how the, the Dixie works or the relative strength of the dollar. You're comparing dollar strength to other currencies around the world. It's absolute strength or it's purchasing power is evaporating every single day. Inflation continues to go higher around the world. But being that we're talking about dollars here, um, I'm referring to the Federal Reserve note known as the US dollar here. So many, many months ago, maybe even a year ago, I had explained to all of you that I believed that we were going to see the relative strength of the dollar or the Dixie continue to gain. And that's exactly what has happened here. I still believe there is upside here. Uh, in in this environment. Now, a lot of this may be dependent on what happens to the 10-year yield, the yield curve itself, and, and global bond yields. If, for example, um, we see things kind of normalize a little bit, you would expect to see some of the relative strength of the dollar disappear, but I don't think that's going to happen. I, I believe we're still going to see a knee-jerk higher with the relative strength of the dollar and that can potentially and it depends on how high this gets people because i've explained to you and you know this already i believe that multinational corporations they don't like to see the dollar where it is now and this has the potential to affect earnings and all kinds of stuff and it could hit the market okay but look we also understand that this is a rigged game you have the federal reserve itself buying the market they say they don't buy stocks they're buying stocks okay when, when the Fed says one thing, believe me, they're doing the opposite of it. Um, you know, it's laughable too. I'm watching, I think it was Bloomberg this morning, and they're talking about the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, how it is dropping. Oh, why don't they show us the real balance sheet, the other one? You know how this works. Every major corporation, and the Federal Reserve is a corporation, has two balance sheets. One the public can see, you're allowed to look at. The other one... All the stuff that no one really gets to see ever, no matter who you are. Doesn't matter if you're the president of the United States or anybody else. It's just something that the Fed higher ups are privy to see, and that's all. So it's laughable. It's the game. Okay, look here, don't look here. The Fed's doing its job. The Fed is gaining credibility. Look at, I mean, that's another thing they're talking about Fed credibility. 
Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. They're parading out freaks here on the mainstream propaganda ministries to tell you the Fed is gaining credibility because its balance sheet is shrinking. Really, uh, it's not helping inflation now, is it? So what they do, again, these are paid shills. They float these people out here. They, make, they, they feed them a script. Read this to try to convince people that what they're seeing, again, is not real. The usual phenomenon that just continues and continues and continues. So going back here, I don't care about economic news. I don't care about earnings, forward guidance, P.E. ratios, none of it. None of it. And neither should you. The key here is the debt market. The key, key here is the 10-year yield. Forget about the, the yield curve being its most inverted in history. Okay. We, uh, I mean, you know, there's a lot of these... Uh, talking heads trying to convince you that we are not going into recession, our economy is strong, and uh, there's act actually zero inflation. I mean, that that's how twisted this is. But uh, what else would you expect? Anyway, so look, on the back of um, this, this ticking up higher in the unemployment rate, I'm laughing, uh, stock futures are higher. Stock futures are higher this morning because the 10-year yield came down, okay? The market right now, market participants, people like you and I, institutions, they are watching that 10-year yield just like you and I are, okay? They're looking for signs of stability here in the dark, in this debt market. If the debt market regains stability, if the 10-year yield were to come down, the stock market's going much higher. It should make sense to you. Another player here must be crude oil. Crude oil has been getting smashed lately, okay? Crude oil right now catching a bit. So if you, right now this morning, here's the setup. You got a 10-year yield lower, you got crude oil getting a bit higher. You got the dollar, the relative strength, which is lower. So the setup for the market is not bad today. You understand? Let's see how it plays out throughout the day. If, in fact, 10-year yield rises, the market's going to hate it. It's going to hate it. Like I've been telling you for, the, for a while, and you've been watching it play out right before your eyes. I'm not making this stuff up out of thin air. You understand? Okay. What else is happening here? Gold and silver are catching a bid this morning. You know, let me talk about that real quick. A lot of you continue to write to me and are very disappointed with the performance of gold and silver. I get it. I understand that. It's not a real, it's not real. Again, what are they doing? Major banks, none more so than JP Morgan, is using the derivative to manipulate the price of the hard asset. Okay, I've covered this a million times. Only in an upside down world would a hard asset derive value from a derivative. Generally, the derivative derives value from a hard asset. But this mechanism is upside down, so banks like JP Morgan and there's others can get in here and twist it and rig it to the downside. Um, look, gold and silver are the place to be when the debt market finally does implode. All right, that's all because cash is just going to move. Like it, look, cash moves through the market in predictable patterns. Okay, when you have a risk on environment and it remains risk on, okay, despite what we're seeing here lately with the turmoil in the market because the because of the instability in the debt market. Okay, we got that. Eventually, when we get an implosion in the debt market and everyone's talking about it, it's going to happen here. Major Wall Street banks, Morgan Stanley came out just a couple of days ago, explaining a debt market implosion as well. Look, I don't pull this stuff out of a hat. Major banks are going to cover themselves as well, say, okay, this is going to happen. At least we warned you. You understand? So, when that implosion occurs, cash is just going to move. Again, you're going to get a bleeding off of cash. Cash is going to leave the debt market faster than you could possibly imagine. This is why you're going to see that rapid spike in the 10-year yield like we witnessed recently and recently before that. You know, 3.25, 3.35, 3.45, bang, four, bang, 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 higher. It's going to crush the stock market. So where does cash go? You know it doesn't grow little money wings and fly away. It doesn't fly away to money heaven. No, it's going to go into commodities. Okay, and Goldman Sachs even said that too. So you got major Wall Street banks backing up what Greg Manorino has been telling you for years is going to happen. So you're holding hard assets, physical gold, more specifically physical silver, the most undervalued asset on the planet, bar none in my opinion, do your own research, for when that cash eventually moves. That's all. Okay, 
So don't look for gold or silver to be making any profound moves until that dead market implodes. In fact, embrace the rigging. If they're going to rig the price of gold and silver to the downside, well, why wouldn't you want to take advantage of that um, and buy it while it's on sale? That's my take on it. Look, you're entitled to your own. But again, I keep getting bombarded every day. Gold and silver, gold and silver. Greg, when's it going to go higher? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's just my take. I've been telling you this forever. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.